Season 2 recently arrived and as always I have done a review of the entire update. Which will be in the link uh, underneath this video. But in this video I want to bring your attention to something else. And yeah, you'd probably read the title or seen the thumbnail, so you know what this is about. Duke moved, yet again, and there are some new runes to be found. If you are not aware of his recent adventures, I made some videos regarding this topic, so you can check them out. So where is he this time, and will we get some actual answers? Well, not really, but interesting stuff is going on, and yes, we will talk about Duke but I will also go into all the rune locations. So let's dive into it. Last month Duke was hard to miss when you sailed around Kraken's Fall. This time he is a bit more hidden. You can find him at Wonders Refuge in the Shores of Plenty. At roughly the center of this island there is a small waterway and if you look very closely you will be able to find a hidden entrance to a secret cave. I'm sure some of the older sea dogs know exactly what I'm talking about since this cave is more commonly referred to as Wanda's workshop. Wanda of course used to be a weaponsmith who later turned into the vicious skeleton captain warsmith. Just walking into this cave is not enough to find Duke since you also need to access the hidden chamber of this cavern. Just like before you need to turn this skull to open the door. You won't see a visual cue, but if you press your interaction button near the skeleton head, you should be fine. There's a lot of stuff to talk about regarding this room, like an extremely revealing journal and the original figurehead of the Burning Blade. We won't go into that today since we are here for Duke, who can be found near the end of this room. I have no idea what business Duke could have here. But whatever it is, he didn't expect any visitors since he acts startled when talking to him. He actually thought you might have been a skeleton. He reveals the skeletons in the Sea of Thieves might be smarter than they look, since all the clues he has found are written in their language. He actually suspects that skeletons are following him, since he became aware that they know what he knows or you know maybe that's what they want him to think. And just like him they are searching for something specific. And if you are confused by this, you are not the only one. I have many speculations of what is going on but sadly nothing concrete. And Duke is purposely being vague. Or I should say it's probably the developers. So why is Duke in Wanda's workshop? Do the developers want to bring Wanda and Flameheart back to the front of our memories? Maybe, who knows. But just like last time he does give us some new hints. The first clue can be found underneath a skull. Another is at the gravesite and the last one is found in the depths of the earth. Did I find them all again? Yeah, of course, but it wasn't easy this time. The first clue talks about being located underneath a skull. And this could be any place since there are numerous skulls in this game. But this clue isn't talking about any regular skull, but a skull in the sky. And more specifically the skull that appears when somebody activates the Fort of the Damned. When climbing all the way to the top, you should find a rune as soon as you finish climbing the ladder. And just to make sure the fort does not need to be activated for you to find this rune. When interacting with it, you will learn that it contains three scratches and three words. These words are Spires, Fortress and Hand. Also, all of them have a question mark behind them. I don't know if the question mark is etched into it as well or if your pirate has trouble reading it. I think the question mark is part of the engravement. The previous set of runes did not contain question marks, so this is interesting either way. The second rune was also hard to find. Duke talks about the rune being next to a gravesite. But there are so many gravesites in the game. There are some gravesites on Wanderers and on Lone Cove, and many islands have standalone graves like on Crooked Masts. Did I sail to all of them? Y yeah, I did. And as usual, the rune is found on the last place you are locking, which in this case is Thieves Haven. When going to the top level, you should be able to find some graves on the west side of the island. And even then the rune is a bit hidden, but you should be able to find it. 
This one resembles a hook and the words link, memory and death are etched into it. Again with the question marks. And the final one might have been the hardest to find. Duke hints at it being in the depths of the earth. My first thought was actually the heart of fire and after that I was quickly listing of all the underground areas he could mean. But somewhere in the back of my head I knew he was referring to the shores of gold. More specifically in the belly of gold where the gold order can be found. So I got on my sloop and I did the entire telltale just to find this one lost room. And you know what? I did not find it. So I slept on it and went back, but this time with some help. By pure chance another content creator, a shiny ray, joined me in search of this room. We had heard rumors that indeed this room was somewhere near the treasure piles surrounding the gold order, but we had no idea where specifically. And if you've done the tall tale, you know there's a lot of gold piles. But we kept at it and spent at least one good hour searching the entire room until finally we gave up. We killed the gold holder and finished the tall tale. Yeah, we, we could not find it at all. So what would you do in a situation like this? Well, we got yet another guy to help us out. Did the entire tall tale yet again until we were finally ready to search the treasure vault for a third time. Well, when I say we, I mean my crew was ready, but I kept dying so they had to wait for me. And when I finally got up, we were ready to fight the gold order again, but before we fully turned the capstone, a shiny ray told me he had found something. And it was indeed a rune. Not near a treasure pile, but on a scaffolding before we even fight the gold order. So yeah, pretty well hidden and obviously massive thanks to a shining ray for finding this rune. But what does it say? Well, it resembles a scarred three-sided eye and the words treasure, wrath and secret are etched into it, again with the question marks. So with this find we solved all three hints given by Duke and found all the runes, right? No, because last time there was also a fourth rune that Duke didn't give a hint about and that was the one found in the legendary hideout. So is there yet again a fourth rune hidden? Yes there is, and I did also find it. And again I had some help since one of my subscribers sent me this image on the Salty Hippo Discord. Which will be in the link uh, underneath this video. So this picture is pretty vague, but I was told it was on Crook's Hollow. We searched high and low and eventually found it above the waterfall. This rune resembles a whirling wisp of smoke, but no text. This is interesting because the runes Duke found did not have any words etched into them, just like last time. So are we to believe Duke himself carved those words? If so, how did the rune end up in the shores of gold? Also, three of the runes were found in the ancient isles this time. Does it mean anything or not? And yet another interesting fact is that the runes from last time disappeared. This could be rare, trying to keep the detective work a bit more focused, but you know, it could also mean something else. Like, I know, someone using these runes for something. So yeah, lots of interesting stuff to think about. I personally think that whatever is coming is going to have a big impact on the overall lore and story. But what it is precisely, I have no idea. But what do you think? Just like last time, I'm looking forward to your speculation in the comments. And also, don't forget to subscribe. It did really take us a long time to find everything. Um, so yeah, a like or subscribe is really appreciated. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Do something daring and I will see you in the next video. Take care.